welcome to this NPTEL online certification course on artificial intelligence and marketing and now we will talk about module 50. So as you can see that in this module we will talk about how sales management can use AI for its benefit and this is module 50 and these are the things that we will talk about in this module. So we will start with the study of sales management using AI and the AI tools for the same. Then we will explore AI techniques used in sales management platforms and tools and then we will study impact of AI on sales step and thereafter we will talk about exploring future questions pertaining to integrating AI with sales with selling steps. Now let us understand sales management using AI. So artificial intelligence is helping companies boost lead volumes, improve close rate and supercharge overall sales performance. That is because this technology can automate and augment much of the sales process. As a result, sales people are free to focus on what matters the most which is closing the sales. Leading sales teams use AI across the entire sales cycle from lead to cash and the specific use case depends on the role. For example, inside sales reps accounts executives and sales managers are accountable for different processes and metrics. As a result, each will benefit from AI in different ways. So the first is sales forecasting. So artificial intelligence systems exist that can predict or forecast outcomes using historical data to inform future results. Common predictions that sales AI systems can make include 1 deals or prospects most likely to close, second deals or prospects to target next and the third is new customers that may be interested in what you are selling. The next comes lead scoring and prioritization. Artificial intelligence can look dispassionately at large data sets from a number of sources and tell you which leads you should prioritize based on the scores AI has given them. As noted by sales pro Victor Antonio in Harvard Business Review, salespeople usually approach lead scoring and prioritization in an unscientific way. In this case, AI can bring a level of logic and standardization to the process that human just cannot match. The next thing that AI can, can do for sales management is expert recommendations. Beyond prediction and prioritization, some AI systems can actually recommend sales action going so far as to tell sales teams which action the system thinks make the most sense based on your goals and insights from the data. These recommendations may include advice on how to price a deal which is a big challenge for sales people. who to target next and which customers to target first with upsells or cross-sells. The result is targeted guidance on what actions to take. So salespeople can free up bandwidth to close deals rather than deliberating about what to do next. The next benefit is sales automation and sales productivity. AI can also automate or augment your work to take away some of the drudgery that distract you from high value tasks. AI can help with everything from managing your calendar to scheduling meetings to assessing a sales team's pipeline by automatically doing these things for you or making them dramatically easier by using your historical usage data to make decisions. This use case is very similar to how some customers calendar and productivity apps work. Recommending recurring events or to do's dynamically thanks to AI. Now let us look at the various AI tools for sales. The first is Drift. Drift helps businesses use conversations to remove friction from their buying process with chat, email, video and automation products. These products powered by machine learning work together to qualify leads 24 by 7, essentially cloning your top sales reps. The second is Exceed.ai. 
Exceed.ai use AI to engage with every sales lead that enters your pipeline using human-like two-way conversations by email and chat. The third is Conversica. Conversica is another major player in the space. The company provides an automated AI sales assistant that engages your leads in conversation. The AI assistant conducts conversations with leads, further qualifying them before they talk to a rep. This type of intelligent automation provides a number of benefits. Human reps are freed up to actually sell to people who are interested in a product or service rather than wasting a lot of time talking to people who are not qualified. Every lead gets a follow-up since the AI assistant can scale easily. The fourth is Salesforce. One of the top players in AI for sales is not unexpectedly Salesforce. The company's AI is called Einstein as it shows up in many places throughout Salesforce customer success platform. Einstein automatically prioritizes leads for your sales reps. It evaluates the likelihood of deals to close and it empowers developers to bake AI into their Salesforce apps. Salesforce Einstein is a prime example of how many players in the AI for sales space are existing companies. Big existing players, at least the savvy ones, are incorporating AI into existing platforms by hiring AI talent or buying AI companies. The fifth is Crayon. Crayon's AI-powered competitive intelligence tool tracks 100 plus data types across hundreds of millions of sources to tell you exactly what competitors are up to online. This information is then used to automatically build and update sales battle cards that get results. Now let us compare machine learning and AI techniques used in sales. Three prominent AI and ML techniques are majorly being used in sales function. These are first support vector machines and second is artificial neural network. The third is natural language processing. So these are the, the, the three things. One is support vector machines, second is artificial intelligence network and the third is neural language processing, natural language processing. Let us take a brief look at the advantages, disadvantages, current applications and potential applications in sales for each of these techniques. The first is support vector machines that is SVM. So SVMs can be used to perform classifications. And unlike traditional linear classifiers can efficiently perform non-linear classifications using kernels. The advantage of support vector machine is first can perform non-linear classification. Second is strong convexity property ensures global minima. The third is strong theoretical foundations. And the fourth is allow simple geometric interpretation because of theoretical foundations. The fifth is gives is far solution because we can focus only on the support vectors. The disadvantage is easiest way to create an n array classifier is to create n support vector machines and train each of each of them one by one. They are not robust to outliers in input space and the computational scali scalability is limited. The current applications of this is predictive modeling, time series forecasting, the handwriting recognition, face detection, text and hypertext categorization, classification of images and bioinformatics. Now what are the potential applications in sales? The first is targeting customers and sorting them by propensity to purchase. The second is sales forecasting. The third is advanced warning of probability of switching to competitors. The fourth is suggesting cross-selling and upselling opportunities. The second technique is artificial neural networks. Essentially, a neural network is a black box that searches many models, including nonlinear models with complex interactions, without being told the nature of the relationship. The advantages include may have any number of output. It is better at identifying very complex patterns. It is very good at predictions and very good at real-time analysis with evolving data. The disadvantage includes often converge to local minima, weak theoretical foundation, heuristic origins and development, often 
overfits data if training goes on too long and interpretability of parameters not strong because of heuristic problem solving approach. The current application of this technique is in handwriting recognition, face detections, predictions, classification of images and artificial intelligence in games. The potential applications of this technique in sales is first segmentation using unsupervised neural networks, then seg segmentation using supervised neural networks to segment customers based on segment labels, frequent buyers or purchase amounts, tracking customer behavior over time and sales forecasting, keyword analysis for prospecting, text, audio and video analysis of salesperson, customer communication for lead generation and subsequent qualifying of the prospects. Designing optimal present presentation strategies, designing pre-approach and approach strategies, optimizing sales operations management like operations planning, sales process activity scheduling, timetabling, etc. The third technique is natural language processing that is NPL. Many practically relevant advances in business are occurring due to rapid strides in natural language processing. NPL lies at the intersection of linguistics and machine learning and falls within the area of computational linguistics. The first advantage can, uh, is it can perform keyword search in text and emails. The second is it can do linguistic classification. The third is it is highly flexible and highly representative of reality. The fourth is it is easy to represent new and complex concepts and the fifth is it is highly expressive. The disadvantage is it is very difficult to make generic searches, problems with synonyms, unknown words, ill-informed sentences, syntactic ambiguities caused by structure, semantic ambiguity and contextual ambiguity. It is based on ambiguous, soft and fuzzy rules. It needs very high computing power to encode all the rules that can understand human speech. The current application of artificial neural networks of natural language processing is machine translation, making all the world's information across regions and languages, fighting spams, false, false positives and false negatives issues in spam filters, information extraction, summarization and question answering. Now let us look at the potential applications in sales. Search engine insights, finding keywords and phrases that potential customers search can help a company identify prospects. Glean customer insights from their social media postings and reviews. Text analysis of emails, audio and video records to generate and qualify leads. Lead scoring for better efforts allocation based on quality of leads. Trend analysis. Now we will look at AI impact on selling steps. So there are various sales models with different steps. The seven steps of selling suggested by Dubinsky in 1981 apply to most sales situations. The first is prospecting. Second is pre-approach, approach, presentation, overcoming objections, close and follow up. So let us discuss the impact of machine learning and AI on the seven steps of selling as mentioned above. The first step of the selling process is prospecting, an important stage in the sales process and the one that overlaps most often with the customer development role of sales is prospecting. At this stage, the firms need to perform the task of finding customers and qualifying them, that is scoring the potential customer based on some measures of their propensity to buy. Prospecting can be broken into one segmentation, targeting and positioning. Second is demand estimation. The third is lead generation and lead qualification. We have already discussed the impact of AI on STP in chapter 2. Let us now focus on the other two aspects of prospecting. The first is demand estimation. Once targeting is completed, there is a need for demand estimation and sales forecasting within the target markets. This demand can be facilitated by machine learning and AI. The key to success for firms, especially for technology driven ones, which are likely to narrowly focus on technical aspects and ignore broader market needs is customer validation. Customer validation is the step that sales 
managers need to estimate current demand and profitability. Therefore, demand estimation or sale or sales forecasting is part of the overall customer development function of the firm. Demand estimation is also critical because most planning activities that a sales organization undertakes are critically dependent on generating accurate forecasts. Machine learning has been used extensively for sales demand forecasting. A combination of support vector machine and neural networks that is ML techniques have been used to forecast demand and these methods are superior to the traditional forecasting methods like trends, moving averages and linear regression. More generally, machine learning has been found to be very successful in sales forecasting through time series predictions. Neural networks can efficiently handle, handle predictions based on time series data, especially for chaotic time series. The regression variant of SVM is helpful for forecasting and making predictions. Another way in which machine learning based AI is improving sales forecasting is the use of natural language processing tools, which enable computers to identify keywords in speech and emails of potential consumers to predict the probability that these consumers will purchase. A continuous time Markov chain model that can predict the time dependent win rate of a project or opportunity that enters the top of the sales funnel and has to go through several stages before closing. This then gives a time dependent estimate of the number of closed accounts which can be mapped to the sales forecast. The next step is lead generation and lead qualification. Almost an overwhelming array of cutting edge tools have been developed in marketing, operational search, statistics, computer science, mathematics, economics and econometrics which allow firms to do lead qualification much better than even a decade ago. The most common metrics for lead quality is some measure of propensity to buy and many machine learning tools that perform predictive analytics can help managers in this regard. Some of the more common tools like SVM, ANN, discriminant analysis, naive by base and K nearest neighbor. These methods can determine what actual online and offline behavior have the highest probability of resulting in conversations and then identifying customers both online and offline who exhibit these behaviors. A recent article featured an interesting application of machine learning and AI in the lead generation efforts of Harley Davidson company. It presents the case of a Harley Davidson dealership in New York which by using AI algorithms went from getting one qualified lead per day to 40. Many of these new leads were look alike in the sense that these potential customers resembled previous high value customers and therefore were more likely to make a purchase. In a spectacularly successful application of AI, the machine learning algorithm used the data generated through many text and visual campaign variables and customer variables to predict which online campaigns implemented through different digital channels, for example, SMS, email, search, social media, etc., were most likely to convert different customer segments. Within three months of implementing this machine learning and AI based lead generation and qualification program, the dealership's qualified leads had increased 2930%. The second and the third are the pre-approach and approach. The pre-approach and approach has typically been studied together in sales research and some researchers have indicated that the stages are being merged. In the pre-approach and approach stages of the sales process, the impact of digitalization has been dramatic. Internet telephony, which has been around for a few decades, is typically a hardware and a software combination that enables telephone calls that use the internet as a transmission medium. Over the last decade, we have also seen a rapid increase in the use of mobile and web based means through which the selling organization can contact the customers. A company called Sixth Sense have developed a service that does predictive analytics by uncovering buying signals that help salespeople decide on the optimal time to approach a potential buyer. The company uses data 
on the visits customer make to the client site along with third party data and social media feeds to predict when the customer may be ready to buy the most exciting development in ai powered conversational software has been the emergence of chatbots because they pass the turing test which requires a computer program to impersonate a human in real time chatbots can be used by the selling organizations to uncover the needs of the customer through striking up a dialogue and then to process the order and payment especially for routine purchases chatbots are powered by ai which themselves depend on machine learning and are flexible enough to allow the sales person to take over the conversation as needed for more complex sales ai based chatbots perform sophisticated natural language processing and can be trained to understand the intent behind the request most ai based chatbots use markov chains to build responses that are more applicable probabilistically and consequently are more correct members of any sales team will have to develop machine intelligence since they will have to deal with machines at various stages of the sales process even a cursory appreciation of what the ai based machine can do and how it does so will allow a sales representative with machine intelligence to interpret each stage of the sales journey when handling the account understanding of the capability boundaries of ai in sales will enable the sales person to interact with the ai systems much more efficiently to the point of treating the machine as part of the team in closing the sales the fourth step is presentation in the presentation stage major breakthroughs are being brought about by immersive technologies evidence have shown that immersive technologies drive higher user engagement then the plain video conferencing by eliminating or at least reducing a major drawback of video conferencing that is the sense of presenter not being present in the room since the cost of physical sales calls continue to increase along with the hard cost of samples and shipping remote presentations are increasingly attractive to companies ai and machine learning drive virtual reality displays in which often data is overlaid on the view of the outside world in particular machine learning fosters real time images and audio processes as well as data visualization these ai backed system can now be deployed from the cloud so that even smaller companies with limited budget can avail themselves of these cutting edge presentation technologies as an example intel's real sense Vision processor can facilitate the presentation of prototypes in three dimensions and use advanced algorithms to process raw image streams in real time thereby computing high resolution depth maps in the real estate industry companies like Kaiwa Island Real Estate SC allows pros- prospective customers to take virtual reality tours of its new construction homes and to imagine themselves surrounded by personalized colors carpets and furnitures that are not physically present and have yet to be added to the home plans given the advent made by these ai based technologies in this space the role of the realtor has to be rethought and redefined the fifth and sixth step overcoming objections in closing stage as in the case of pre approach and approach Overcoming objections to the closing stage is emerging in research and practice as an acclimation of sales management to the evolving stages of traditional face to face sales give way to automation but the most important customers are given improved service by a more focused sales force at both a national and global level overcoming objections to ai intervention and especially to robo advisors in the closing stage is likely to see the most involvement of sales representatives despite the advances in ai based systems communication with customers standard faqs may not have the ability to address all the concerns of customers especially those that arise from some complex sales of personalized products and solutions closing for simpler orders is facilitated by internet based tools such as creating accounts and follow up through emails text etc the seventh step is the follow up follow up is two different processes the first one is 
filling the current order and the second one is follow up after the current order is filled. So, the first is filling up the current order and second is follow up after the current order is filled. Filling the current order broadly as comprise of order re recording the order, initiating order processing, inventory management and order fulfillment via supply chain and procurement systems. The early order processing systems can carry out the more routine task associated with order processing, but modern AI backed systems allow for automation even in the areas that call for judgment. For example, in cases where the required information resides in different databases all over the company at different branches and possibly at headquarters. The data can be recorded in different formats and have errors and missing values. Machine learning and AI have made some inroads in the post order follow up stages of the sales process. Gain Insight, a company that offers software to manage sales and customer service has linked up with the questionnaire company SurveyMonkey to automatically alert salespeople of the need to invoice after the close. The proprietary software prompts salespeople on upsell and cross sell opportunities and ensures that all members of the sales teams are on the same page as far as delivery timelines and schedules are concerned. The approach identifies best characteristics that can be used to predict potential sale customer targets for cross sales. Electronic giant LG Electronics has very recently unveiled a plan that will use AI enabled by machine learning technologies to offer customized after sales service for the benefit of the users of its smartphone. The company realized that 80% of the users visit to the service centers are for simple and minor requests for software problems and that these could be efficiently and effectively handled by automated processes. The customized remote service is expected to drastically cut down the number of visits to its service centers which will then free up the time of after sales service personnel to focus on major repairs that is addressing product problems after the sales that are knowledge intensive and time consuming. For manufacturing firms, a major aspect of after sales service is the continued availability of service parts and their pricing. Most manufacturers will rely on past practices of laboriously pouring over detailed excel spreadsheets to properly price their service parts. This results in parts being offered at different prices at different service centers at different times of the year and often leads to customer frustration and the complaints. A full optimization of after sales service profits and revenues require optimal setting of prices and ensuring timely deliveries. Now let us look at some future questions on the AI uh, regarding AI impact on sales steps. So the first step the future question is how can firms study customer sentiments for products use, using tools such as machine learning and AI to estimate demand. How does demand estimation using customer sentiment compare with traditional methods? How can machine learning and AI enhance forecasting and demand estimation when the external environment undergoes dynamic, rapid and unforeseen changes? How can machine learning and AI use text analysis for emails and other communication to identify prospects? How can machine learning and AI perform video and audio analysis of chat logs, archives of transcripts from online chats and instant messaging conversation with customer service personnel to identify prospects? How can machine learning and AI based text mining and, and keyword analysis, for example, identifying and validating qualifying words assist sales organization in lead qualification? How can machine learning and AI enhance smart and continuous customer targeting in real time? How can machine learning and AI help develop recommendation systems to suggest cross selling and upselling opportunities? Now let us look at the future questions regarding pre-approach and approach. How can text mining coupled with machine learning and AI enhance pre-approach and approach over traditional methods? How can machine learning and AI help develop systems that recommend customer engagement strategies based on the analysis of past engagements and their success failure and depending on salesperson, industry and customer characteristics?
The next step is presentation. The future questions here are how can machine learning and AI help design dynamic sales presentation by incorporating customer feedback, verbal and non-verbal and salesperson's goal while conducting their presentation. How can machine learning and AI develop systems that automate the self-finance link to provide database financial valuation arguments of for the company's product and design total cost of ownership presentations to counter price objections? How can machine learning and AI develop systems that suggest multimedia presentation techniques based on attribution modeling that can attribute the relative contribution of various communication alternatives in achieving successful sales? How can machine learning and AI assist in leveraging 3D printing technology to construct customized prototypes for demonstrations to customers? How can machine learning and AI develop systems to use collaborative filtering to improve recommendation systems which can be used to optimize presentations? The next is overcoming objections and, cl and close. So the future uh, uh, questions regarding them are how can machine learning and AI be used to conduct lost order audit and help sales organization better anticipate objections and handle them? How can machine learning and AI develop systems to recommend negotiation strategies based on analyzing history of past negotiations and their success or failure rates and how they depend on customer and salespeople characteristics? How can machine learning and AI provide advanced warnings of lost sales based on analysis of history of objections and how they were handled? How can machine learning and AI develop systems to audit post invoice sales recording process in accounting systems to identify sales anomalies such as channel stuffing because of salesperson, timing gains and undue discounting of goods? How can machine learning and AI develop systems to audit products returned by customers to identify problem customers and or ineffective problematic sales people. The future questions regarding follow up are how can machine learning and AI better streamline sales service links? How can machine learning and AI create better advanced warning systems for the sales frontline to the supply chain and other related functions? How can machine learning and AI better predict a rebuy? How can machine learning and AI better streamline the sales manufacturing link? Future questions regarding follow-up can be how can machine learning and AI develop systems for seamless connection between sales invoicing and inventory systems to reduce delivery lag times? How can machine learning and AI integrate upstream supply chain suppliers to firms and downstream supply chain that is firms to customers to enhance efficiency and effectiveness of a firm's entire supply chain operations? So to conclude, in this module, we have discussed sales management using AI for lead scoring, expert recommendations and sales automation. We explored prominent AI tools for sales and then we compared three AI techniques like support vector machines, artificial neural networks and natural language processing in, in sales management tools. We finally discussed Im impact of AI on the sales steps and the future questions for integrating AI in all the sales steps. These are the seven sources from which material for this module was taken. Thank you.